Hello, welcome back to the HKBU Phonology Lab channel. In this episode, we'll share some tips on drawing images in Pratt. In particular, how to put waveform, spectrogram, and a text grid into one image. For the sound file seed, for example, here's the waveform, the spectrogram, and the annotation. Let's see how this task can be conceptualized in Pratt. First, Pratt needs to draw image one, the waveform. Then it needs to draw image two, the spectrogram, with some text and marks. Lastly, it needs to draw image three, the text grid. Let's do this in three steps. First, we draw the waveform. Second, the spectrogram with text and marks, and then third, the text grid. To draw the waveform, we need to select inner viewport. In the plot picture window, when we select a space, this white area is called the inner viewport. We can ask Prot to specify this area by clicking on Select, Select Inner Viewport. In this pop-up window, the horizontal range can be specified by the numbers on this scale, and a vertical range can be specified by the number on this scale. For the horizontal range, we can put 1 here and 5 here. So the inner viewport starts from here and ends at here. For the vertical range, we can specify 1 here and 2 here. So that the inner area starts from here and ends at here. We click on OK. And this area will be the place for the waveform. Next, let's select the sound file and draw, and then draw the inner box. Back to the Pratt Optics window. We click on the sound alone, and then click on draw. Click on draw here. In this pop-up window, we can leave everything as they are, except that we uncheck garnish. Let's click on OK. The waveform appears here. Now the only thing missing is the box. To add it, we can click on Margins, Draw Inner Box. Here it is. As step two, we draw the spectrogram. To draw it, first we need to create a spectrogram. We can do this in Pratt by clicking on Extract Visible Spectrogram. Coming back to Pratt Optics window, we select the sound, go to View and Edit. Here we go to Spectrum, and then Extract Visible Spectrogram. Click on it. A new item appears in the Pratt Optics window, and this is a spectrogram of the sound file. To draw the spectrogram, we first select Inner Viewport, select the spectrogram to draw, and then draw Inner Box, which is similar to what we have done to draw the waveform. In the Pratt Picture window, we click on Select, select Inner Viewport. We can leave the horizontal range as 1 to 5, so that the spectrogram will align with the waveform. For the vertical range, we can specify it as 2 to 3, so that the spectrogram will appear from here to here. Let's click on OK. This area will be the place of the spectrogram. In the Pratt Optics window, we select the spectrogram, click on Draw, Paint, leave everything as they are, and uncheck Garnish. Click on OK. To add the box, click on Margins, Draw Inner Box. Now let's add the text and the marks. 
This can be done in a plot picture window using text left and marks left every. To add the text, we go to margins, text left. In this pop-up window, we can input frequency hertz. Click on OK. To add the marks, we go to margins, marks left every. Click on it. We can leave the unit as one and the distance as 2000. Let's uncheck draw dotted line and click on OK. Now the spectrogram has a scale on the left. As step three, we draw the text grid. We select inner viewport and then select the text grid to draw. To set the inner area for the text grid, again, we go to select, select inner viewport. For the horizontal range, we can still leave it as one to five so that the text grid will align with the waveform and the spectrogram. For the vertical range, however, the setting is different from the previous two images. We can specify the first number as one. That's where the first image appears. We can specify the second number as 3.5 so that annotation in the text grid will appear here. Click on OK, back to the Pratt Optics window. We select the text grid and then click on Draw. Draw. Click on OK. The text grid will be added to the picture. If we do not want the boundaries, we can undo the drawing of the text grid. To do this, we click on Edit undo. Now let's redraw the text grid. We click on draw, draw. Here we uncheck show boundaries. Click on OK. Here the boundary is gone. Don't forget to save the picture. We go to file, save as PNG file. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Bye.